one of the early sketches the architects did, I still have it, is just a line drawing of the parallel lines to Westminster Street meeting the parallel lines to Dexter Street. And they're not right angles. They basically made like a tic-tac-toe board and, and showed that like, you've got this, ang th this triangle gets formed throughout the building. And they're like, well, actually, let's not fight it. Let's, em let's embrace it. So obviously one of the big features is the CLT, right? Yeah. That's something that was new to everybody. It was it, new to the architects, it, it was new to you guys. It is. Obviously it is. the South County this Post is, and Beam came This is there. only, from what I understand, like one, maybe one of two buildings in the state. That have a structural CLT. Pure. Yeah. Yes. That's unlike anything else, right? That's unlike erecting steel and... It is, because as you can see, this is finish. Yeah. So we're dealing with a, a finished product, which needs to be handled properly to keep the material as fresh as possible, yeah. right? But also the install, like the install is screw guns, Yeah. right? It just yeah. gets screwed together. Yeah, like. well, let's look at this right here. You can see some of these seams that are stitched where these panels come together, right? Yeah. So that- Is that like tongue and groove in there? It's a shiplap. Yeah. CLT is everywhere, but we're not going to see it everywhere. No. Right? This is the big, yeah. biggest example of this, right? Yeah. It was beautiful, just the CLT it walls. Was. Yeah. We had to cover it all. Had to cover them yeah. for acoustics. Yeah. So after CLT was a studded wall? A stud wall that is not rigidly attached to anything. It is attached, but a typical building method would be to cleat it to the wall yeah. and directly nail it. <clears throat> Here we have all these acoustical products to to uh, create that separation. Because we're trying to minimize vibration from getting to the CLT, basically. And then, I, and then after that is how many layers of drywall? Just one layer of drywall here? Two to three. Two to three. Depending on the walls where they where they lie. Okay. So over there, where there's a classroom behind it, that's probably the thickest. Yes. Probably three on both sides. All right, so we're standing on a glass floor, <clears throat> which is covered for just to protect the glass, I guess. Yes. Yep. But this was its own. It, this is own, own an interesting challenge. I know when the design process, it was all open originally, but didn't work for fire codes. Right. But their concept. This is an example of one of the triangles that's formed by the two sets of lines, right. and they, I think, brilliantly said, like that's how light gets in. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, right? There's, yeah. there's no lights on here. Yeah. Every. Everywhere you turn on this project, there's a small challenge. We're here. That's a challenge. How do you hang that glass? So we had a door. Doors, you know, they go in last, especially a glass one. You don't want to bring that in when you're framing and say, all right, build the building around it. So that goes in last, but it needs to be figured out first. You know, I never realized building the building how much actual space that this created. And I, I had gotten a lot of questions from people. Why are they building this basement? Why didn't you know they just go up? But when you come down here, there's a tremendous amount of space and it's quiet. Yeah. Well, it, it, it was a evolution for us. Like we started with a partial basement in I the design. That. Right. And then people started to say, you'd be crazy not to dig the whole thing. You always regret not having more space. Dig the whole thing, even if you don't finish the whole thing. Right. So, okay, we'll dig more. We don't know if we have money to do the whole thing. And then it just kept going that way until we're like, well, let's increase the budget. Let's keep thinking, could we do it? Could we do it? Before, before you know, before long, we had the whole, I, I whole basement. I thought it was interesting that that wall was, was built all the way up. We had initially wanted to build it floor by floor. Right. Yeah. And that was last summer. Yeah. The basin said, no, we have to build it all the way up. And this is how I'm going to do it. And then we said, okay, if it's not going to tip over. So we were a little nervous. That's a tall wall. With no, because it had no corners at that point. Right. It doesn't just, have any corners. Right. It has reinforcement stand. And he said, I'm going to build it in eight foot sections. And I'm going to wait for it to harden. And then I'm going to come back and build another eight feet. And I'm going to wait for it to harden. And I'm going to come back and build another eight feet until he got to the top. 
So I've never been a musician, right? But to me, when I see this, I could be a music writer. Yeah. And I could come in here with my instrument and shut the door and just stay here and write music. Create. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's this cool. Is, this is where the light will come in once the boards are removed, right? This is that wedge, or what, they, what the architects call the shard, the shard of light. Mm -hmm. Are these treads final or is this? No, they will. This is temporary. Yeah, these are temps. Yeah. Hey, thanks for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is really. Thank I you. I mean, the video, but also the job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah.